Okay, this is my friend's computer that had the flashing green light on the back of the power supply. I had gotten it going, uh, at least temporarily, using a hair dryer. You can see that in a previous video I did. But basically, the power supply is uh, slowly dialing. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the power supply. I'm going to show you how to replace an ATX power supply. First, you want to go ahead and open up the case. And usually, there's just like a little screw here or something. Let's slide this little panel off here. Okay, you're going to want to get a, uh, a new replacement uh, power supply. Uh, the ATX power supplies are relatively standard in size as far as uh, the width and height, but the depth, some of them can be deeper. So you want to make sure you get one that will actually fit in your case. Another thing to look for is the power. There's the total power of the uh, power supply, which is good. This is 250 watt max power supply, but it's divided among a bunch of different voltages. So like here's plus 12 volts is 14 amps, plus five volts is 25 amps, plus 3.3 volts is 18 amps, minus 12 volts is uh, 0.8 amps, and plus five volts uh, is two amps. You want to make sure you get a power supply with those equal to those or greater. Not going to go into a lot of detail, but uh, some of the older uh, power uh, computers used more of the, the 5 volt uh, range, and some of the newer computers, I think, use more of the 12 volt range. So you want to get a uh, power supply that's equal or greater than the one that was originally in the computer. So I've already picked one up and I want to play it safe. So um, I picked up one that was the exact same as the one that was already in the computer. Same brand, same model, everything. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out. Okay, there's just four screws holding this power supply in. One, two, three, four. Phillips head. Just go ahead and remove those screws. Okay, now there's one little tab uh, as part of the case here just kind of holding the power supply in. So all I have to do is push this tab down a little bit and the, the power supply will slide right out. So I'm going to go ahead and put that off to the side. And then I've got my new power supply. I'm going to go ahead and slide this into place. Now I'll just go ahead and take the four screws that I pulled out before and screw those back in. Okay, done with that. Okay, now what we want to do is start unplugging cables uh, from the old power supply and plugging in the, the uh, cables from the new power supply. It's easiest to just do one at a time. So like here's one cable here. Just go ahead uh, Unplug it, find the, the similar cable from the other side, the other ca uh, power supply, and plug it in the same way. There's one. Okay, here's another uh, cable going to the motherboard. There's a little uh, uh, release over on this side, so we go ahead and squeeze that. Pull up. Let's see, get this here. And then find the equivalent cable on the other power supply and we'll plug that in the exact same way. It'll snap down into place. Okay. Here's another one going to the back of the CD drive. So we're going to go ahead and, um, but actually this one is using a little connector here. So we're going to unplug this one here and plug in one of these. Uh, so let me see, da, 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 da. get all the pins lined up in there. There we go, got that one done. Okay, and then we've got this one right here. Unplug that. And then we plug this one in here. Great. 
Just go ahead and shove the other cables in there. Close it back up. And then we'll power it up and give it a test. Now if things go right, when I plug this in, I should get a solid green light there. Yes, very cool. Now let's go ahead and try to power it on. Press the button, that should light up. It's a blue light. All right, 